demonstrated with Stampin' Up! Welcome to my craft corner. I'm going to make this little treat bag for Halloween. We're using a little something, which I love this little set. It's got something for all of the holidays that we're celebrating this time of year, and also just generic, a little something for you, thinking of you. Love this set. We're using Happy Haunting Designer Series paper. It has six designs with black and white. On the other side, it has six designs with Tangelo Twist. Some of these papers you have to actually look to see the Halloween. You've got little tombstones. This is actually bath. So the only one that's really Halloween on both sides is this one paper. So if Halloween is not your thing, still a great paper for you. We're also using the spiderweb doilies. And again, these are spiderweb doilies, but the other side is white. You can color them any color you want. The designer series paper is cut at three and three quarters by ten. And it is scored at one, six, and eight and a half. And this paper doesn't have a top and bottom, but we're going to be putting it into the bag and folding it up and then folding it down. And so you will be seeing both sides of the paper. So think about which side you want to have and does it matter about directions. It will be easiest if you fold your paper nearly in half. We're using the gusseted cellophane bags. I have cut three inches off the top of them. One of the things I like about these bags is there's no seam on them. I'm going to put it through the back part of the gusset. That gives the pleat in the front. And slide it all the way down. To about there and then open up the bag and that flattens out the bottom and then if you just kind of snug it in and it'll fill that out. We have a delightful little candy store near our house. They have all kinds of candy so I actually punched out my colors and took my color sample into the candy store to find candies that go with this color. Angie Judah talks about her hand shredder and I actually went ahead and bought one and so if you have a crimper and a shredder you can make your own paper fill. This is a half a sheet of cardstock that I'm going to tuck in my the bottom of my bag and then I'm going to put up just a handful of candy. I'm going to stamp with my black archival stamp pad. These are new and they Permanent are ink. You can clean it up with a stamping mist and you can, they're archival so you can use it in your scrapbook. And it has a can. true black lovely stamp. So I'm going to stamp Trick or treat. And then I'm going to use the Tangela Twist. I'm squeezing to put some ink on the, looks like I re-inked that, to uh, get some ink in the pad. And then I'm going to just use this to color in my pumpkins and my letters. And then I'm going to punch this out with the label bracket punch. And I'm trying to center these little lines at the points of the punch. I'm using the 7 8 inch scallop in the center of some of our lovely black glimmer paper. I love this glimmer paper and then I'm going to use the one and three quarter inch scallop circle punch to punch around that. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Punch two two inch circles from the tangible. If you would like to decorate the back a little bit, go ahead and stamp some of the spiders. 
and then we're pretty much done. You're going to fold one of the doilies over at the dots and so you're going to fold that over your bag. Put one of the two inch circles in the front and the one with the spiders on the back and staple it with our little mini stapler. Adhere the scalloped um, black glimmer paper to the front and I recommend putting one of the scallops at the top and the bottom lined One up. thing about the glimmer paper is it is kind of difficult to stick to the glittery side and I'm using dimensionals and placing my little trick-or-treat over there and I'm lining up the points with those scallops. I tied a little tiny little bow with the black Baker's twine. I'm going to place that on a glue dot and I'm going to kind of squish the glue dot behind the bow and then stick my bow on the bottom of the tag and on the back I'm going to put a dimensional right over those staples in the back and stick my little scallop over that to just kind of decorate the back of it a little bit. So there is my Halloween treat bag. It really goes together pretty quick. Here's the my first one. It's the same paper, but I reversed which one was out in front. And then here is the same exact treat bag. This one's made with one of the other designer papers that is not that does not have a Halloween theme. I used a little something for you. And I stamped the leaves from a little something in Tangela Twist. And I also used the back side of the doily, the white side. If you put alcohol in a spritzer, about a half an inch from the top of it, and then about 20 drops of re -inker. you can spritz your doily any color you want. And so I've spritzed it to match my Tangela Twist. I hope you enjoyed these little treat bags and um, if you need a Stampin' Up! demonstrator I'd be honored to be yours. You can come on over to BevAdams.com and you will have the directions for all of these projects and also there's a shop now button so you can go over shop 24-7 at my Stampin' Up! store. Talk to you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.